All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube, Pastor Dow here. Um, a few people on Patreon are asking me what is my real take based on uh, the events that took place at the alleged, quote-unquote, the alleged, quote-unquote, um, capital insurgents, uh, protest slash riot slash insurgent. You know, there's too many videos um, out there on YouTube, uh, as well as on social media, um, where people on their cell phones are posting how the Capitol Guard just literally open up the doors and let these people in. Um, I, you know, if I said it before in the past, I'm going to say it again. I talk to my people. When I say my people, I'm talking about my people that own patrons and stuff. I talk to them about stuff like this all the time. And whenever I see stuff like this take place, I never forget um, the rule of the Hegelian dialectic, the problem, reaction, solution. Uh, they create the problem, they prompt a reaction, and then they come up with a solution, kind of like 9-11 and all this old other stuff. Um, but when I look at this, and I really truly analyze what, what is taking place, uh, I can't personally, myself, um, can't see why people can't read between the lines. Anything that goes on today, everything is being analyzed. Everything is being analyzed to determine to see how the American public is going to react and respond. I will tell you what's strange, and it's very seriously strange. Uh, here in the last few days, a lot of world leaders have resigned their jobs, and I forget what country that was, the whole entire cabinet resigned. I mean, just resigned. What in the hell is going on that Angela Merkel over in Germany, she will step down. Somebody in France will step down. Um, um, I can't remember all of these names. And then you got a whole cabinet stepping down and people resigning. What's going on? Now, there are a couple of sentiments out there um, state because of the military buildup um, that is taking place um, at the uh, Capitol building, along with um, Melania Trump continually dressing like Jacqueline Kennedy. Uh, uh, there's a lot of sentiments going on. And then when you think about this military buildup, it could go one or two ways. It could actually be there for the defense um, of, um, or let's say the protection of the politicians through this inauguration. But I'm amazed and how that we can't come up with money for nothing else. But when it comes time to protect the buildings and protect politicians, man, we can come up with resources. We can come up with, with money. We can come up with pay to pay people, overtime, energy up for the whole nine yards. And they got that thing so secure with fences built up and boarded up, man. You know, it's going to be something to see what really truly is going to take place come Wednesday. It really, really truly is. Um, but, you know, there's a sentiment out there, and I'm going to throw this out there, that um, one thing is going on is that there's a buildup of the military and stuff in order to be able to um, stamp out the deep state and take over. Another thing is they're protecting um, uh, Biden and, and Kamala Harris. And, you know, uh, this is not the United States of America. This is the divided states of America. The whole world sees it. Uh, our country is bad. But see, what what really truly amazes me about all this uh, and y'all know how much I know a little bit about history but it, it you know as an empire we are definitely repeating the exact same mistakes of ancient Rome and how they fell when we devalued the currency um, when morality and society just just went off the rails and off the chain over to the side um, when evil triumphed and that's no longer good uh, nobody, there's no absolutes about anything. There's no absolute right. There's no absolute wrong. Um, people going about doing everything their own way, except when it comes time for people to get arrested or whatever it is. And I mean, we have just lost our way. And I'm surprised to tell you the truth that we still afloat. Do I see this thing going another five, 10 years? It probably could. I mean, but when you got Joe Biden wanting to give out $1.9 trillion and then give $350 billion to the states, um, just because they exist. And, and even though people like uh, Como, DeBazio, and all these people, man, they don't know how to manage these states. They don't know how to manage these states. And now California is reeling. They're going to be losing house seats as well, just like New York, because people are moving out of New York. They're moving out of California. I realize I've got a lot of digressions here. I'm trying to get a lot in here at one time. 
Um, but I'm, you know how I'm going to end this video for those of you who, who pay attention to me. America is you and your homestead and the people who you are mutually assistant with, if you even know what that means, people who you can trust. And that circle is very, very small. And you need to try to continue to keep up communications and you need to continue to come up with all types of contingency plans in order to how to defend yourself against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Uh, the ammo, uh, I mean, they're selling guns all over the place and guns are, I mean, even the guns that nobody would even want, they will scoff at today. They're even flying off the shelves. Uh, it happens that they, it happens that way every single time a Democrat gets in office or something goes on. First thing Americans do is start buying guns, and man, when you have more guns in citizenry, man, you this is telling you something, isn't it? But I can tell you right now, um, who would ever thought that I would live to see? And a lot of people, uh, old timers like myself, would actually end up saying, "Man, who would ever thought we'd ever live to see America the way that it is today?" And it's going from bad to worse. If you're not homeschooling, and remember, they used to scoff at that. Now, since the advent of COVID-19 or C-19, uh, they want you to stay at school, social distance. I mean, all this stuff going on and stuff. There, and, and they're doing everything they can to not only impoverish this country, but every other country associated with it. And it's crazy. Um, you can fly from Canada to Mexico and the United States and Mexico, but you can be right next door to Canada and Canada and the Canadians don't want nothing to do with Americans. The Americans don't want nothing to do with Canadians. It's off the chain what's going on. But I think the biggest news right now is all these world leaders resigning at an unprecedented level right now. I want you to continue to keep investing in your own homestead and security. Um, and just because someone wears a uniform don't mean they're friendly to you. Get that mess out of your mind. People, a lot of people in uniforms are just simply not for you. You should have been out in the country preserving yourself. Um, fortify your homestead. Uh, I, I can't even say anymore. I feel sorry for people that are called in these population centers. Uh, and that's called the cities. Because uh, it's sad. It's literally sad. I even make videos of people who just moved from out of New York, out of out of uh, Los Angeles, California, San Jose, California, um, big, big, big cities. And, and they said, you know, I don't know what the world was wrong with me, why I didn't move out of there earlier. Um, but America, protect yourself um, and stay away. And I'm going to say it again. Don't get caught up in people so-called inciting you and enraging you and inflaming you to when you go out here to these riots and stuff. And remember, they have uniformed guns and the laws and stuff. They can shoot and kill you and they have total immunity. Uh, but in these areas, if you can, if you're going to go to an area where you're going to protest and you can't even so much as carry even a pocket knife, you don't need to be there. You don't ever need to go to any place where um, you can so-called, or you can't protest and you can't defend and protect yourself against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That should be just common sense one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I can only hope that I said something to stimulate thought. I really, truly do. I just only hope that people can really, truly have the eyes to see and the ears to hear at this point, because it's really, truly getting too late to do a lot of things that I've suggested to us over the years. It, and you know what? I, I've, I've definitely done come to terms and come to grip with no matter how much of an example that you try to be to people, some pe people just ain't going to do it. Uh, they see things their own way. There are some things that people cherry pick that they're motivated at doing it. And believe me, they go all in. Other areas, they won't even touch with a 10-foot pole. They will even acknowledge the truth and say amen, hallelujah, but they still won't do it. So I pretty much just concentrate my efforts and stuff over there on my platform, um, over there on Patreon and stuff like that. And I'm going to be speaking to the people more um, uh, in the upcoming weeks, even more so. Uh, but I concentrate my efforts on those who are making moves, those who see the vision, who get it, and they are able to preserve and protect themselves because it's going to be a crossfire from hell. When, 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 when this balloon goes up, and you think about this, think about this, and let me leave you with this on the video. Suppose you do have civil unrest in the cities. Do you think if you pick up the phone and dial 911 and try to call for backup or call the police, do you really truly think they're going to be there to assist you when they're too busy protecting the rich, protecting capital buildings, state buildings, protecting politicians and, and, and governors and everything else? Do you really truly think that they're going to bust their rear end, sirens blazing, to drive to where you're at 
in order to protect you, in order to defend you. You should have learned a long, long time ago that law enforcement is not designed to protect you or to defend you. The Supreme Court made that ruling. Y'all get that? I don't care how much they have to protect and serve, but they're not telling you who they protect and serve. It's not you. Uh, anyway, y'all have a wonderful day, okay? Keep your head down. Keep your head on the swivel. Keep your head glued. And let me, let me say this one too. Is it not a remarkable about the total media blackout of all these people that got killed on that Capitol Hill at this alleged protest that turned into a rioting, a rioting by the insurrectors or whatever you want to call them. Nobody's talking about it. Nobody's being convicted. I mean, the purge, is it on? Wow. I mean, a total media blackout, total media blackout. Other people are talking about it, but we're not hearing anything. Man, if it would have been any other protest where people were actually getting shot and killed and their lives was gone, or and it's amazing. But if a police officer... If he loses his life, oh, man, they try to make him a messiah, don't they? Now, I'm not saying it because I'm against police officers. Because, I mean, I have plenty of law enforcement officers in the ministry. I promise you I do. I have a lot of them. And that's why I get a lot of my information concerning uh, the laws, different states, um, police departments, sheriff's departments, security guards. I mean, I've got all different types of Leos in the ministry. I have attorneys in this ministry engineers in his ministry. I've got people in his ministry that are well-informed, a whole hell of a lot more well-informed than you and I. And when they tell me something because they are in the shit, I believe them. I believe them because I have no reason not to. I know their character. But um, man, I appreciate each and every last one of your support. You get a chance, go over and check me out on Patreon. All right. I want y'all to have a wonderful day. Go back, look at this video, share it, like it, and um, tell as many people as you can. All right. Tell as many people as you, as you can. Hopefully that who knows? You may share this video with them and, and, and a defibrillator may hit their mind in here. They may get shocked in the truth and they may consider for one time what I'm saying, even though it may be too late to make some major moves.